Hello, I'm Joe, a Windows user. And I'm Harry, a Mac user. And this is going to be a start on our videos showcasing Mac and Windows software. And first we're going to start off with VirtualBox, which basically it is a PC inside a PC. And we're going to set up Windows XP on it. And now we're going to install Windows XP Service Pack 3 on VirtualBox. And I'm going to talk you guys through the installation since I'm generally best at that. Harry kind of sucks. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Next, uh, we're going to um, set up a new one for you guys. We're just going to call it a Windows XP Pro because, oops, Pro. Ah, got spell. Pro because that's what it is. And you can select lots of different operating systems Microsoft Windows, Linux, Solaris, and um, every type of Windows, basically, including Windows 7, which is pretty helpful. And you can, uh, on this little bit here, you can select how much RAM you want to give it. For Windows XP, I recommend giving 512 as a minimum, because um, 192 isn't enough, I don't really think. I'm going to select a new hard disk. And the difference between dynamically expanding storage and fixed storage is dynamically expanding storage expands as you add stuff to it. Fixed size storage is just however much you give it. Which isn't very good if you want to conserve this space, so we're going to if we're dynamically expanding. Next, we're going to give 10 gigabytes, which is easily enough. Finish. Finish. And that's us done. Next, you know, if you, anyone noticed on a desktop, we've got here Windows XP SP3 ISO image, which we uh, burnt from an actual physical disk we have. We're not pirating anything, we're not a scoundrel. Sure, yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, well, okay, uh, next we're going to go CD, DVD, ROM, mount, CD slash DVD drive, and you can actually use a um, an actual DVD you have if you want, but we're just going to um, go to ISO as well, click on here, add, and then go to our desktop and move it, click on this, select, and okay. And now we're going to start installing it. And Harry's going to talk you guys through this bit. And now I'm going to show you how to install Windows XP or whatever you're trying to install on VirtualBox. Okay, this is just saying it's going to be captured using the keyboard and all that stuff. So, and it says here to host key finds the right control which connects the arrow keys. I press OK. And then the Sun VirtualBox screen comes up. And then Windows XP startup. Startup. And it should, it does take a while, so I'm just going to pause the video for a second while it does this. Okay, now it's uh, done all that, it should be here. Now um, pr just press enter on this, you don't want to do anything else. Okay, and then F8 to agree. And then that's the uh, hard drive you set up earlier. And then choose the top one as it's quick to install, that's all you really need for the virtual machine. Now wait until it's set up to partition. And it says it'll reboot, but all it's going to do is open up the uh, virtual dra virtual box window again. Should reboot, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, we're not actually going to reboot our computer because that would stop the recording. So. And see, it's just loading up the virtual box thing again, and then it'll go through all this again. Okay. And then you've got Windows XP startup screen. Okay. And now it's going to take approximately 45 minutes on yeah, average. 45 minutes ish to install, so we're just going to skip this bit really. Skip. See you in a bit. And now we've finished installing it. And okay, that. And it should just load up. Okay. Basically here we have a what it is the uh, Windows XP setup th thingy whatever you want to call it which could show you guys to this and you can um, put on automatic updates which we're gonna do so yeah next 
just gonna uh, actually skip, skip, skip. We're not gonna get to to that today. We're not gonna register. Next, and we're gonna put our name. Yep. We're Harry and Joe, aren't we, Harry? Yep, we are. Here we are. Ooh, Joe, it's not finish. And then it should bring one of the beer. Mm-hmm. The usual very interesting welcome screen. Yeah. And now we're just loading up our, our desktop here. And here we are, Harry and Jow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is pretty much Windows XP, but just in a small little window and yeah, well, you, a bit you, slower. You, yeah, you can change the uh, screen resolution if you if you really want. You've got quite a big screen. Get a, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, but um the problem with virtual box is it's not brilliant with screen resolution and we're showing you some other software that's a bit better yeah because uh, this is pretty good but we're going to be doing another video 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 out video on um, VMware workstation which is probably the most well known um, virtualization software so basically this is it Thank you for watching, rate and subscribe, and I just said that and I sound like a noob. Goodbye. Yep, yeah, goodbye.